What is up guys, t Vance here, thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't seen part two of this video, go give it a watch because it's instrumental, you guys know what's happening with the story and everything is unfolding right now. So we've broken into the Wapiti station, we know about this doctor that's watching the station and they've been following us because now we have record of the conversations we've been having, they've been tapping into our radios, they've been following us around, they have directional patterns of where we hike, so uh, it's just getting stranger and stranger by the minute, but enough of the backstory, let's get into the gameplay. Receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Alright, we're close. Alright, here it is. What is it? It's to the cave where we couldn't get in before. The, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. Fuck. I'm going. Give her. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Uh oh. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? So now, whoever's following us has the upper hand because they can report to the police that we burned that site down when really we didn't, so that was smart thinking by them. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. I really feel like I'm being cornered here and that I'm just following whoever is following us, and I'm doing exactly what they want me to do, but hey, let's just do it anyways. Oh. Oh my god, now I'm locked out? Is that what this is? Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! What did I say? <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, so now I'm stuck in this goddamn cave. What's that? Is anybody down there? Maybe that's the teens? Or Goodwin's kid? I don't know. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Because he hated climbing? Yeah, it sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. So, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Nice. They girls turned up. They tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Notched a bullet there. Oh my god. Shit. Are you... Oh god. You 
Brian Goodwin. So Brian Goodwin is dead. This is huge. Wow. So it's definitely not Brian Goodwin. All right, let's get out of here and report that Brian Goodwin is dead. That is huge. Because what about Ned Goodwin? What is he doing? Maybe he's mad and now he's trying to plot revenge on us. We don't know. Hey, you um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's, what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? He's climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. Whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, we know Brian Goodwin is not the guy who's playing with us. It could be Ned Goodwin. Could be the Rod and Tom, or whoever's sending the notes. And the doctor, who I really think is behind this, is the doctor of the Wapita Station. Is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. About how all this stuff is connected the surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's got to be a reason. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I mean, am I walking into a trap right now? I hope not. I would much rather remember you from a bar somewhere and not a jail cell. Please find who made that tape. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns It up. is Ned. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. You guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him, all right? We were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. Yeah. 
He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing. Fast. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Delilah, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. I think I'm gonna go with him. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. <sighs> wait. I'm not far. This is a pretty uh, unstable cable car if I've ever seen one, but we'll trust it, I guess. Alright, moment of truth. Time to meet Delilah. Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. She lied to me though. I thought I thought I was waiting for like, oh yeah, I'll come with you to Boulder. And so she's like, no, nope, go see your uh, wife with dementia who won't recognize who you bleh, who you are. Woo! Let's go home. And that's the game. Oh. <laughs> So, I don't know. I still have a lot of questions. Really, I do. I mean, we 
We kind of got to know Delilah and it seemed like she was making a move for us. And we basically came in with open arms and she went, no, nah, go home. So I guess next step for Henry is to go to Australia and see his wife with dementia. I guess that's where uh, the story leads to. But, uh, you know, learning about Brian and, and Ned, I kind of had a gut feeling Ned was behind it the whole time and it was nice to see that I was right for once because usually with mysteries I'm terrible even with the Scooby-Doo. Uh, morning cartoons, I'm usually uh, way off, so I think I'm gonna play it again, take more pictures, um, explore a little bit more, maybe not get lost as much, but uh, it was a fun experience for sure. So thanks for watching guys, it was a lot of work to get this done, and I'm really happy with the final product, so thanks for watching guys, T-Ben's out, see you guys soon.